What's going on YouTube? I'm back, your movie guru. Uh, this time changing up the scenery a bit. Uh, as you can tell, I'm actually doing this one from my car. Uh, I actually just got done watching uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Uh, and before I start with the review, with the review I'm gonna say that uh, I, along with uh, many, many other millennials, uh, grew up uh, with the Pokemon show back in the day. And uh, I watched the Pokemon show, you know, this is back when there were only 150 Pokemon. Big fan of it as a kid. Uh, and then that was really it for me. And uh, I didn't play any of the Pokemon games on Game Boy. And I wasn't part of the craze that millions <laughs> participated in with the uh, mobile phone game. Uh, I believe it was called Pokemon Go when that came out. Uh, so I wasn't a part of that. Uh, I watched the show as a kid, loved the show, uh, but that's where it ended for me. And so in that respect, I think I'm like a lot of movie moviegoers who might you know, go to see this film. Uh, Right now it has a 63% score on Rotten Tomatoes and an 85% audience score. Uh, so audiences really liked it. Uh, that said, I will say the film was enjoyable, but I think it's maybe not as enjoyable as the 85% audience score it has now. I think that might be a little deceptive. I think this is one of those things where the movie kind of, moviegoers kind of self-selected or when I say that, I mean they, they kind of screen themselves as far as the people who went and saw this movie, at least this first weekend, this opening weekend, were people that were really big Pokemon fans. So I will say if you're a big fan of the franchise, you know, you, you watch it as a kid, uh, you know, you played the games, uh, you might even have, you know, little kids now or children now that you're introducing to Pokemon. Uh, so if, if that fits you, you know, then you're going to enjoy this movie. Uh, I would say it doesn't do all that it can uh, with the narrative, you know, Pokemon, uh, a, a whole world filled with Pokemon. Uh, it doesn't, you know, truly show you all that that could entail. But, you know, if you're a fan of Pokemon, then you will like being able to see some of your characters, you know, that you've only saw in a cartoon fashion or you know an anime type fashion you will enjoy being able to see them on the big screen with real live actors and pretty convincing cgi so if you're a fan of the franchise like i said i, I do think that you'll like it and like i say i, I did think the film was enjoyable I, it, it's pretty humorous throughout you know there, there wasn't any points where i was just you know back and you know falling over laughing uh, but I think Ryan Reynolds uh, does a good job as Pikachu. Uh, definitely creates a, uh, yeah, has a lot of one-liners that I thought were pretty funny. And everybody did, you know, a serviceable acting job. Uh, nothing, definitely not going to be any outstanding performances you see here. But, you know, that's not really what you're going to see this movie for in the first place. So like I said, so it, you're going, knowing this is a Pokemon film, you pretty much know what to expect from the get-go. So I said, so it's humorous. It's fun seeing the Pokemon on screen. Uh, a serviceable villains, you know, it's not anything too crazy here. Yeah, you know, it's not. Oh wow, you know that villain was really cool, or you know that's really a memorable villain. You know, nothing like that. Uh, and then the plot. You know, even though it's supposed to be a detective movie, you know, Detective Pikachu and everything, uh, it still doesn't do anything crazy in terms of, you know, this is a, a great mystery that has to be unraveled or, you know, big plot twists or anything like that. Uh, but so I, but like I said, if you're a big fan of the, the, the franchise, I do think that you'll like it. Uh, uh, if you do enjoy this movie, you will be happy to know that the sequel was already greenlit before this movie even came out and the movie has done well so far at least in its opening weekend uh so you will be happy to know that uh, i will say that in the second one uh i would hope that they can really continue to uh, i really out. hope that they would be able to uh, not so much flush out the characters more but that they'd really be able to uh flush out the world more uh, so you, you really 
none of the, like I say, the characters were, I would say, that interesting, you know, maybe with the exception of uh, Pikachu. I mean, everyone loves Pikachu. But uh, I do think that you really want to see what they do with this world. But yeah, I, I really think that people will be a fan of, okay, let's see how they can really incorporate more Pokemon you know, into this kind of world, this kind of universe that makes sense. And, you know, how big can we imagine, basically, you know, where we can go with that. Uh, but like I said, it's a fun little movie. Uh, nothing, you know, I, I'd go crazy over. If you're, a, like I said, a big fan of the franchise, you know, go and see it in theaters. Uh, if you're just a casual movie fan, this is something that you might, you know, you're just going to get maybe in red box or, you know, wait till it comes out on TV. Uh, it's it's a fun little movie, you know, and it does what it's designed to do. And I really think it was just meant more to appeal to the people that are already into the franchise more than it was to, you know, suck new moviegoers into it. And to that end, I'd say it accomplishes its job. So overall, 7 out of 10, serviceable film. Uh, that's, you know, nothing really... Uh, earth shattering the world breaking about it which is fine not every movie is supposed to do that you know some are meant to just do the little cash grab or maybe uh lay the foundation you know set things up for things to come like i said the sequel was already being greenlit so we'll see where they go from there uh that's it once again thank you guys for watching i uh, haven't been to see too many movies lately i've been really busy and then also uh hasn't been anything i'd say really crazy coming out that I've been excited to see. Uh, but John Wick 3 is definitely coming next. Early reviews that I've seen uh, are really good for it. Uh, I'm a big fan of the franchise and I will definitely, definitely uh, be in line to see this one uh, very soon. Uh, so once again, thanks to you guys for watching. Hit the like, subscribe button and see you guys in the next one.